<laughs> Welcome to uh, Bow Spring class a la Alicia and Brad. Um, this is Brad. Hi, Brad. <laughs> um, we're going to do some new weird things today, so that's always fun. And we're going to have a little focus on some core with a, with a, so check it out. If you don't have one of what these things are, which is, I tend to call it a block, um, but it's a bar and it's weighted. This one is 12 pounds, but like five pounds is nice and nine pounds is nice. This is 12. 12 is a lot for me sometimes, but um, we're going to use the bar to help get added resistance for the core. Um, that's it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Um, cool. Let's just start in Crouching Cat. So taking the hands as wide as the mat and feet as wide or maybe a tiny bit more narrow than the mat. And bend into the knees a lot. Root down through the paws. Paws push down and out to the side. Knees kind of have that external push out as well. Pressing the heels towards the back of the mat. Extend the back line of the leg. Booties in the sky. Chin is forward and we're so broad and full through the upper back. Awesome. Let's have a couple of bends and extends. So sitting the hips down and back on, or back and up or whatever and reaching the ribs for <laughs> so far forward talking. Yeah, and with each extension, the ribs pull forward and the hips pull back and we extend the heels towards the back of the mat to lengthen the posterior chain. Awesome. And then come forward and find some stillness and twist your cat to the right. Toes to the right, knees to the right, hips sit low towards the heels. Left ear drops to left shoulder, lift up through the right ribs. And keeping this right hand connected in, in a little dome hand to kind of um, feel like there's this line that you're pushing up into. <clears throat> awesome. And then come back to center and twist your cat to the left. Toes to the left, knees to the left. Hips sit low towards the heels, dropping right ear to right shoulder to lift up through the left ribs, keeping connection of the left fingertips, little crawl forward to extend the line that you push up into. Awesome. And then come back to center. Cool. Have a couple of cat burglar hops just to warm it up right away. Hop forward, hop back, arms push so straight, land with the paw of the foot and a little spring in the knee. And like I've been playing with this a little bit to hop with an open belly. So rather than closing the, the hips towards the ribs, hopping with an open belly to find added lightness. Do you notice it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then land back, crouching cat. Cool. Narrow the knees to lower the knees. Cool. Walk the knees back to come for a little panther prep. So hands walk wide off of the mat and hamstring curl the heels towards the butt. So this lifts your butt up in the air and you find the hollows in your groins. Belly is long and bowing towards the mat, but we stay full and broad through the upper back. It's like these two polar actions, hips pull back as ribs stretch forward. And then come down halfway, elbows out to the side, keep space between the shoulders, less is more, and lift back up. <clears throat> keep going at your own pace, just uh, coming down only to the height of your elbows, keeping space and radiance between the shoulders, top of the head reaches forward, hips pull back. Yeah. And then next time you come down, let's hold for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Push up, sit back onto your heels. Awesome. Here are the ankles. <clears throat> Take both hands into ecstasy, cup the back of the head. Yeah. Find a couple of belly lengtheners. So hips tack down and back, and then lift the forearms up nice and strong. Belly stretch. Awesome. So maintaining the, the strong push down and pull back of the top paw to find that hollow in the ankle. The hips stay down and back. We keep the hollows in the groins. Belly lengthens up, up, up. 
open the throat, open the belly. Awesome. And then find a more neutral space, but still uh, lifting upwards, keeping your central channel nice and long, tube-like strong, and then arch over to the right. Left side stays open and lengthens. So you can think about the bottom left ribs lifting up towards the sky. Take your right hand, catch outside edge of left thigh. Now we can use the thigh as a little bit of resistance and almost like the stability factor. You can lift up the left ribs a little more. Awesome. And then release it and take both hands back to ecstasy. Find a lifting, a lengthening upwards and then arch over to the left. Tacking the hips down and back, and then finding that big stretch all along the right side body. Head presses back into the hands to open the throat and open the belly. Now release your left hand, catch outside edge of right thigh, little resistance to stretch deeper. Pick up through those right ribs. Wop, 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 wop. Cool, and then come back to center. And sit your hips back, reach your arms forward, two seeds reach forward, long belly forward, take the hands down to the mat, domes slide to bright, yeah, all fours. Stay down on your knees. Guess what? Autopilot. Autopilot. Um, that's okay. Um, guess what's next? We're going to do some... Um, some fire hydrants. Some fire hydrants. <laughs> fire in the butt! Um... So, usually I'm like, okay, take your knee out to the side and then just um, isolate this, and this is a super good one to do. Um, but now, push the mat away, elbow armpits face inwards towards each other, stay full and broad through the upper back. Take your right knee out to the side. Now, make sure you don't lose the left top paw, pressing down and pulling back towards the knee. And then I want you to take the um, knee towards the tricep as you sit back and then bring that leg back so that you're kind of like rocking forward and back. Keep pushing strong into the mat, fill into the upper back. And you're gonna notice that this starts to focus in on your left butt more than your right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did there. Cool, keeping strong. Full length, full in the upper back, chin lifted, throat open, belly long. How does it feel? Good. Good. Yeah. Next time you bring your knee forward, hold it here, lift it up a little, bring it in. Lift it up. Bring it in, lift it up one more time and bring it in. What's up? And then lower down. Booty, 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 yeah. rocking everywhere. <laughs> okay, left knee out to the side, and then we're going to find that motion. So sit the hips back as you bring the knee forward towards the tricep, and then um, stretch the heart forward. And then keep the motion going. Knee comes forward as you sit hips back. Little, little rocking motion. Belly stays long, bowing towards the left. The right top paw stays rooted. Hero that ankle. Arms push straight, stay full in the upper back. Isn't that crazy how I just shifted the butt work to the one that's now isolated? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know, the little rocking action, I don't know what. It just fires it up. And next time you take your knee forward, let's hold it here. And then lift it up and bring it in and lift it up and bring it in. And one more time, lift up and bring in. Wow! And then release down. Now give your butt a big um, rainbow side to side. And like the further you take your bum to the side, the more it's going to feel like a deeper stretch. <laughs> Awesome, and then come back to center and take yourself for some barrel rolls. So these cool things, the serpentine movement of the ribs, just finding like a little locomotion in, in the torso. I like it because it feels good, number one, and it's um, fluid. Do you like it, Brad? 
<laughs> cool. Tuck your toes. Lift it up, crouching cat. Cool. Twist your cat to the right. Toes to the right, knees to the right. Hips sit low towards the heels. Couple of bends and extends. Awesome. Right hand ecstasy. Cup the back of the head. Now press the head back into the hand. Open up the throat to open up the belly more to the right. Hips tack down and back and finding that big, beautiful pulse. Awesome. Let's have a back cat. Right foot, sneaky slides behind left foot. Feet almost go on like a V shape so that the heels are more together. Sit the hips down towards the heels and then lift up through the right ribs. Left ear keeps dropping the left shoulder. Pick up through the ribs. Awesome. As we sit down, the hips can fall down and the knees pull back towards the heart. One more big lift. Awesome. Hands touch down. Come back, crouching cat. Twist your cat to the left. Toes to the left, knees to the left. Hips sit low towards the heels. Couple of bends and extends. Rooting down through the paws. Finding that dig drag even there. Pause, dig down and drag back. Hips pull back, belly bows to the left. Left hand finds ecstasy, cup the back of the head. Elbow hugs in towards the cheek. Now press the head back into the hand. Open up the throat, open up the belly. Awesome. Have a back cat, left foot, sneaky slide behind the right. Sit hips low towards the heels. Couple of bends and extends here. We slide the foot so that we know where it lands in, in space. It's like if we lift it up and we plant it down, we have no idea where it landed. So when we slide, we're conscious. We have the uh, physical awareness of where our foot goes. Awesome. Ear keeps dropping towards the shoulder to pick up through the ribs. Yeah, come back to center. Awesome. Twist your cat to the right just to lower your left hip down. Reach your left arm long. Lie onto your side, side bow. Awesome. Using this as transition, head drops off of the bicep. Arms reach up to the sky. Roll on to the back. <clears throat> Take your hands to your knees. Freedom pose. Knee, uh, the heels can just dangle above your sits bones and the knees pull heavy away from you. Little rocks from side to side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. lewd. So if you don't have a, a exercise bar, a weighted exercise bar, um, you could use a, you could get creative. You could use like the weighted wrist things, or you could um, grab a piece of firewood, um, you could use a heavy book, whatever. You can get creative, something that's a little bit weighted if you want to find that extra resistance. Or you can get like your friend or your lover to grab your hands <clears throat> and you will hold their hands and they're going to pull against you. So it's like they get strong pulling their, their hands away from you, you resist them. So it's like this like tug of war kind of thing happening here. That creates resistance too. So if you don't have a bar, maybe you have a friend and they'll help you out. But <clears throat> bars are cool, and I'm finding their implications are freaking amazing. So push the bar so strong into the air, so this allows you to stay broad through the upper back. And knees are in a 90 degree angle, and move the knees a little bit away from you. Yeah, this allows your belly to tighten up, the fascia starts to pull, and the lower lumbar lifts. Now, you decide how hard you want this to be. The further back you take the bar, the harder it gets. The more your belly gets tight and pulls. Now you're going to drop your heels down. Cool. And then lift up. And just finding the same motion, drop down and lift up. <clears throat> Keep going. And now you can find a little bit of movement, taking the arms back a little further as your heels drop down and then little contract when you take up the bar and then keep going. And you'll feel the place that feels um, useful. It'll be like this little like whip in your belly. Awesome. 
Arms keep pushing straight. Here are the ankles. How does it feel? Yeah. And then find some stillness with the bar. Just reach it up into the sky and a little bit back. And then <clears throat> take your feet for a little bicycle. So the more you hamstring curl your heels back towards your butt, like your heels are dragging through the stickiest honey ever, the more you engage your glutes and you create this like added sense of resistance. Or again, if you had like a friend here, friend, what's up? You could like push the heels down in and he's going to feel that it's much stronger or much more engagement in the belly. We can move the knees over here and then move the knees over here and keep going back and forth. <laughs> And this is how we get strong. So friends are cool. If you don't have friends, you want to find that same action where you're like pulling the, not that you don't have, if you don't have friends available, um, that you're going to find that like pulling action to get your butt to engage, to get that um, sort of imaginary isometric um, engagement in the legs. Have a break. The bar is <laughs> intense because um, this one at 12 pounds really gets your forearms. Do you find that? I was using it earlier today and I was like, holy snapdragons. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give you back the bar. And if you don't have a bar or if you don't have anything, don't want anything, you can, you don't need a bar. The bar just adds to the resistance. You can just keep your arms in the sky, pushing up, taking them back. You'll still get the pulls in the belly. Let's do an active twist. Take your hands halfway to the left, knees halfway to the right. Hamstring curl, heels towards the butt. Less is more. And then come back up to center and knees to the left, arms to the right. And then come back up to center and warm knees to the right, arms to the left. Now extend your left leg long towards the right. And then come back up the center, knees to the left, arms to the right halfway and extend your right leg long to the left. And then come back up to center. One more time, take the knees over to the right, little bicycle. <clears throat> Heels like they're pulling through molasses. And then come back up to center, knees to the left, arms to the right, little bicycle. And then come back up to center and little bicycle in the middle. And then release, hands to the knees. Freedom pose. Yeah. <clears throat> Take your feet behind your sits bones and Little dome fingertips beside your ears, elbows up to the sky, chin up our arms, yeah. And then you're going to lift your hips a little bit away from the mat, yeah. But we want to keep the, so we can imagine like a string attached to the belly button, lifting the belly up as the hips drop low, shoulder blades stay spread, even a little like tap kind of to really broaden through the shoulder blades. Again, if you have a friend, Friends are cool. You can grab their lower back area and just support there. Give them something to hang into. <clears throat> Hips drop towards the ground. Basically just facilitating the curvature in the spine. So full through the upper spine, lower lumbar lifts, hips drop low. What's up? And then release. Cool. Roll back to your side. What side did you come from? Yeah, roll back. <laughs> okay. 
Roll back. Cool. And then tuck the toes, lift up into crouching cat toe. Awesome. How do you feel? Good. Awesome. Uh, let's take a big hop up to the top of the mat. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, feet are like, um, I like my feet a little wider than hip distance. I just feel like it feels more spacious. So, and then narrow your knees. Yeah, use this to set your alignment up. Groins hollow and the hips can move back with more freedom, more space. And then hands to the outside of the knees. Push the knees into the hands. Feel this. Engage the butt. Lift it up. Now both hands rock into you. Ecstasy. Elbows hug forward. Find a belly lengthener so forearms stretch up, up, up. Little pulses sit low, hips back, and then belly lengthens long and um, almost like this like forward and up stretch the fascia long hands are there to support your head root down through the paws paws and knees push down and out now come back to center keep a lifting energy a sit down lift up arch over to the left yeah release your right hand catch outside edge of left thigh little resistance to stretch deeper Hips pull down and back as the left ribs lift up to the sky. <clears throat> cool. We're going to do a cool thing here. So I want you to hover your left heel. And then if it feels okay, hover your left foot nice and slow and controlled. Allow the thigh to pull heavy into the right hand. Keep the belly bowing forward and the hips moving back. Ribs lifting up and ear dropping slightly. Now hinge at your hips to send it back. Keep arching over forward, root down through the right paw, hips tacked back, belly bows. Whoa. <laughs> and then come back to center and drop that paw down. Take a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay, sweet. How's that feel? Good. Crazy, right? Yeah. Super engaged, super focused. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's try the other side. Two hands ecstasy. Sit hips low, tack them back as we lift up and arch over to the left. Couple of little bends and extends here. <clears throat> Release your right hand, uh, what is your left hand? Catch outside edge of left thigh. Let's take it slow. So allow the thigh to pull nice and strong against the hand. Hover the right heel. When it feels okay, hover the foot. Thigh pulls so strong against the hand, belly bows forward, hips pull back, lift up through the ribs, and then begin to pivot on your hips. What's up? So good. So it's like we're flying, we keep arching, we keep lifting through the right ribs. Woo! So good. That was amazing. So that's really hard, but awesome. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing inaccessible about it. The knees stay bent. We're like safe everywhere. It feels good. It's just, it's strong. Yep, okay. Step wide, step wide. Take a deep squat. Reach the arms forward. Um, hover the heels. Yeah, cool. Now, keeping the lower lumbar moving in, keeping your butt moving up, begin to lengthen through the legs. Whoa! Belly's long. Heart rises. Arms stay more forward. Lift the heart. Whoa! <laughs> And then take your butt way back, bring the hands down, domes, slide to bright, step back, step back, crouching cat. Cool. Right leg goes out to the side, open leg style. Drop left ear to left shoulder, pick up through right ribs, become lighter on your right fingertips. Bow the belly to the right, hips move back, left paw root it down and hug left knee to the outside edge of left mat. Stoke your motor, heel pedal. Like it's pulling through molasses, the stickiest kind. Is there any kind that's not sticky? I don't know. Yep, I don't know. Now take your eyes, look forward, find stillness with your right foot. We're gonna have a little step forward. Cool. 
Take a deep bend in the knees. Move the booty way back. Lift up with an open belly forward. Yeah. Now check it out. Um, take your hands to your bum right away. Booty, booty, booty. And you'll notice that if you pull it up and then start to facilitate the stretch through, or like the lengthening, um, the straightening-ish toward in the, in the right foot, it's like instant, like engagement in the hammy. As soon as you pull the butt up, like you can even keep your hands there and just like hold that stretch. It feels nice. Um, you don't have to hold your butt, but you can. Now check it out. A couple of places for your hands to go. One is to the top of the thighs. The more you creep them down, the more um, fire you're going to find in your leg. Keep a micro bend or even like a more than, more than micro bend in your right knee. The left heel lifts, hovers, and energetically drags back to keep engagement in your left butt. Other places your hands can go. They could go to a double block, which feels nice because you can push the block away. Or check out this thing. I love this thing. Okay. This thing is the coolest. So, not only do you feel amazingly regal with this big, <laughs> with this big cool block bar, um, it's also awesome because if you use it and you pull the block down, you lengthen the belly forward and it's like your ribs are stretching up as your hips tack down and back and you find the length in your leg. You like it? <laughs> I love it. Cool. One more full inhale. Exhale. I'll catch the, the <laughs> catch this damn thing. <laughs> and, um, we're going to move into infinity, so bend into your front knee, take a little pounce, lift the arms like you're flying, and take the left foot to the above the knee. If above the knee doesn't isn't cool, then right here is cool. Keep the standing leg bent. Want the hips to tack down and back. This knee stays more forward as we begin to push the arms forward. Open the heart, open the belly. Awesome. We're going to move from here into this craziness. Brad's really excited for it because I know that he's excited. Um, I'll do it with you for the first couple. So it's going to look like this. We're going to take the left foot back behind us. It's not going to touch. We're going to send our butt back and bow the belly to the left. And then lift it up. Little kick. Yeah, keep going. So as you take the foot back behind you, you sit the butt back towards the heel, and then you kick out, keeping the butt back, bow the belly. Yeah. Kick. Keeping the hollows, bends in the knees. This guy stays more forward. It doesn't have to, um, yeah, sweet, awesome. And then next time you Lift it up, let's keep it up. Take your left hand to the top of the knee, reach the right arm forward, give it a little whip. Belly bows, hips pull back. And then release. Shake it out. Do you like that thing? It's hard, it's like mega. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, step wide, step wide. Take a deep squat, hips move way back. Yeah, belly bows forward, pulse. Now as you're pulsing, root down through your paws. So the paws really connect, especially the big toes. And the knees energetically push out. Booty, booty, booty. Brad requested core today and I think I'm giving him more butt. <laughs> But they gotta go hand in hand. I can't. I love them both so much. Okay, now take your butt way back and bring the hands down. Domes slide to right. Step back or hop back. Crouching cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crisp your cat to the right. Toes to the right. Knees to the right. Hips sit low towards the heels. Couple of bends and extends. Awesome. <clears throat> Option to stay here, just enjoying the twisted cat's deluxeness, or drop your left foot to pick up the right. 
keep the knees bent and moving towards the right. Hips move back towards the left. Belly bows to the right. Now press your head back into the hand. Open the throat. Open the belly. Whoa. Cool. Check it out. Right hand comes down. Dome slides to right. Keep the left or the right leg in the air. You're going to pivot back on your left toes. If you didn't move, you're going to move, um, we're going into falcon pose. So, right for what is your right ankle crosses over top of left thigh. Yeah. Come forward, super forward, fill into the upper back to lower the shin down. So, what I was going to say, which is hard because he was in the transition and needed to know where the hell he was going. Um, but if, yeah, two seeds come forward and then lower the forearms down. And then I'm just going to break something down quick, where is if you were just in a twisted cat and were like, da 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 da, enjoying the twisted cat, and you didn't lift the leg, then you just twist back, lift the right leg, cross the ankle over top of the thigh to come into falcon pose. So, all the coolness here. Um, the right ankle sits right in front of the left thigh, hero the ankle in front, so that's that. The, the top of the foot pushing down into the mat to hollow the ankle. Knees push down and out to the side. Left heel energetically pulls towards the butt. Belly's long and we fill through the upper back so strong. Forearms, forearms help to facilitate that. So we've got this like push down of the forearms. Elbows energetically pull back towards the knees. Ribs pull forward, hips pull back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is a break and sometimes it's not. <laughs> oh. Now I'm throwing blocks at you. <laughs> cool. Let's have a couple of pulses with the elbows. So fill into the back heart. And then lift up the elbows and then lower back down. And fill into back heart, lift up elbows and back down. One more time, fill into back heart, lift up elbows. Plant the hands, hands push so strong, fill into the upper back and then a little energetic pull back of the palms towards the knees. Belly bows forward. Cool, and then release, tuck your back toes, press back up, crouching cat toe. Have a couple of hops, let's do um, hitch kick hops. So, switching foot to foot. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, how do I do it? Yeah, yeah, there you go, you got it. <laughs> so, check it out. Brad's a pro, but he keeps his knees nice and low, and then he moves with his butt, so it's like the butt doesn't lie. Paint rainbows in the sky. That's what she said. So, arms pushing straight, landing light with the paw of the foot, knees stay bent, and just like painting the rainbow side to side, the, the, the legs will follow. And then before I exhaust him totally, land back, crouching cat. So do as many of those as you want. Those get you really strong. <laughs> really fast, they're hard, um, but awesome. And they also kind of are like the main thing that gets you in, well, for me, that was my journey to find handstand. Okay, crouching cat. <sighs> Hands as wide as the mat and feet as wide as the mat almost, and paws root down. Heels pull towards the back of the mat, but keeping a solid bend in the knees, booties in the sky, belly soft, and the chin is forward, push the mat away. And take your left leg out to the side. Come up onto, don't, uh, sorry, drop left, what is your right ear, pick up left ribs. This allows you to become a little bit lighter on your left fingertips. Root down through the right paw, right knee energetically hugs to the right side of the mat. Now stoke your motor. Find a pedaling action with that left heel, like it's pulling through the stickiest honey there ever was. Can you get your left butt and your left hamstring to engage here. Belly bows to the left. Hips keep pulling to the right. Yeah, now find some stillness. Take your eyes, look forward, little step forward. Picking up into a high lunge, deep bend in the knees, booty moves way back, lift up with an open belly forward. 
Yeah. So stance is short here. Your feet are on basically railroad tracks. We want the back heel to hover. Deep bend in the knees. Now take your hands to your butt and just like lift it up as you extend through the left leg. Again, the same options. Hands can meet the top of your thighs, keeping broad and full through the upper back, a long belly and a lifted chin, where we can have the block party. Whatever you've got kind of is cool. So blocks are nice because it gives you something to, um, I don't know, hang in, <laughs> hang into. It's soft, um, but also allows you to push the blocks into the ground to fill more through the upper back. Um, we can also take this guy, this guy. Yeah, and when you've got this guy, which is sweet, you can use it to really like push the bar, like you're, it's like, oh, I'm working on the hand. <laughs> but actually, it's cool, because when you push the bar, like downward action, the belly lengthens and the ribs move upward. <laughs> cool. Ooh, na na na. <laughs> ah, we don't have the actual music in the class, so I have to make it more like special Alicia music in the class. Um, I'll catch this guy. Wapow! And then a little bend into the front knee. We're moving into infinity. Take a pulse. Reach the arms forward like you're about to take off for flight. That right knee. Keep it narrow so that the groins have space to hollow. If the foot doesn't feel happy above the knee or like around the knee, then you can take it down to the shin. Um, root down through the left toes. Keep the standing leg bent. Hips move down and back. And then arms reach forward. We push them forward so we stay so full and so broad through the upper back. Belly lengthens. And this is a place where you can, um, I mean, it's really hard to lean it back. But the more you push forward, it's like counterbalancing. Belly bows this way. Arms reach this way. Full in the upper back. Yow, yow. Cool. We're going to move from here into that crazy thing. A little high kick, zigzag high kicks. Um, so this, right foot. Walk, walk. I'll do the right foot. OK. It goes back behind you. It doesn't touch the ground. We sit the hips back towards the heel that's floating and bow the belly in the opposite direction. And then lift it up. Pew! Little kick. And keep going. Yeah, so find your motion as the hips sit back towards the heel, the belly bows to the right. Keep the leg more forward, and the leg doesn't even have to straighten here either. It can just be like a little <laughs> Sound effects help everything. <laughs> um, yeah, they do. And one more. Actually, when you go back, we'll do one more. So sit back, hips back, belly bows, and then lift up and take your right hand, seed hand, to the top of the knee. Keep the knee more forward. Bend into the standing leg. Bow the belly forward. Hips press back. Wow, like you're flying, stretch the belly. Hey, oh, what's up? And then take a little shake and release it out. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. Um, take your hands into Hercules class. Um, starting with the left foot, stepping practice. So little step back, pounce, pounce, and then come forward. As you step back, rooting down through the right toes, sit the hips back as you step back to land lightly with just the paw of the left foot. Heel doesn't even need to touch down. As you step back, root the paws down, energetic push out to engage into the butt. Belly stays long and forward, hips stay back. Elbows were like this. The Hercules clasp looks like a little clasp like so. And we pull the elbows apart. Lift the chin and keep the eyes on the horizon. Next time you step back, stay stepped back. Cool. The right forearm to the, to the top of the right thigh. Ecstasy left arm. Side coil pose. 
so the back heel can hover and we can find a dig drag back with that guy so like the energy like you're about to take off for a race bending into the knees nice and heavy hips move way back and we lift the ribs up to the sky stretch the elbow forward awesome one more big stretch great and then take two hands into ecstasy pivot your torso up to the sky and then feet face the side awesome take a deep squat hips move way back belly lengthening lengthening and find a couple of belly belly openers so rooting down through the toes and the paws paws push down and out knees follow suit and we lengthen the belly up awesome arch over to the right and release your right hand to catch outside edge of left thigh little resistance to stretch deeper picking up through the left ribs Drop your chin down to your right shoulder and spin just the ribs to the left. Fix the head back in alignment with the heart and then continue arching over. Head presses back into the hand. Open the throat and open the belly. And then release. Take both hands, ecstasy, lift up. And other side, find a lengthening. Lift up and arch over to the left. Release your left hand, catch outside edge of right thigh. A little resistance to stretch deeper. Pick up through the left, what are the right ribs. Awesome. Take your chin down to your shoulder. Spin just the ribs to the right. And then fix the head back in line with the heart and continue arching over to the left. Awesome. And then release, come back to center. Find one big lift up, lengthen, and then sit your hips way back as you bring the torso down towards the ground yeah hands can find a block we want to keep the lower lumbar moving in deep squat in the knees knees push down and out to the side paws push down and out to the side knees follow suit now glide from side to side big breathing awesome and then come to center Take a little pounce, booty moves back, and then open, uh, lift up the torso with an open belly forward. Spin your right toes back to front, and then a little pounce, step forward. Take a breath. Ah. Hercules the other way. Yeah, cool. Elbows energetically push apart, chin is lifted, bow the belly forward, and then step in practice with the right foot, little step back. Pounce, pounce, and come forward. So noticing what goes on with your left toes as you step back. Do they twinkle? And can we root them down? Can we ground them? As we step back, we sit back so that we can land so light on our right paw. Heel doesn't even need to touch down. As we step back, we can root down the paws and find a little dig down, push out to get the butt to lift up. Eyes can stay lifted on the horizon. So much, so much things. <laughs> Next time you step back, let's stay step back and take your left forearm to the top of left thigh. Ecstasy through right hand. Elbow hugs in nice and close to the cheek and then reach the elbow forward as you energetically dig down and drag back that right paw. Knees stay bent and we keep the lower lumbar moving in and the butt moving down and back yeah little pulses in and out just picking up through the right ribs finding a broadness and a fullness you can press your head back into the hand open the throat open the belly awesome and then take two hands into ecstasy lift the torso up and pivot your feet to face the side little bit of a wider stance and a bend into the knees take your hands down to your knees booty moves back paws root down belly stays long but the energy here is not deflating we're not like sinking it's a lifted a fullness we could even just twinkle the fingers above yeah even like that and then let's dip right shoulder to the left sometimes it's nice to relax into it but um, the only point of the dome hands on the thighs is to just not be like 
even though that's what you might want to be at this point. <laughs> Don't worry, it's almost over. <laughs> Okay, and then come back to center, take a little pounce, lift the heart high and pivot your left toes forward. Mm -hmm. A little pounce forward, yeah. Now, now, hmm, what will we do? Um, step wide, step wide. Take a deep squat, move the butt way back, arms reach forward, and then hands me down to the mat. Little hop back or step back, step back, crouching cat. Yeah. Cool. Twist your cat to the left. Toes to the left, knees to the left. Hips sit low towards the heels. Belly bows to the left. Drop right ear to right shoulder. Lift up through the left ribs. Root down through the paws. Even the big toes engage here. That dig drag. Cool. Ecstasy your left arm. Couple low bends and extends here. Just finding a little pulse that natural movement. Now, option to stay here in Twisted Cat or option to drop your right foot to pick up the left. Knees stay bent and pulling towards the left. Hips pull back towards the right. Belly bows to the left. Now press the head back into the hand. Open the throat, open the belly. This is a top pose for me. Ear keeps dropping to shoulder. Ribs keep lifting up to the sky. Counterbalance is all over the place. Root down through the right paw. Cool. Nice and slow. Let's come back. Left hand meets the mat. Dome to right. Then twist back. Left ankle crosses over top of right thigh. Set up falcon pose. Come down nice and slow. Cool. So the left knee pivots up to the top left-hand corner of the mat, and the ankle sits right in front of the thigh. Two seeds come forward to slowly lower the forearms down to the mat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move this knee back a little. Yeah. So we want the knees to be, or the hips to be level. Hamstring curl the, whoop, hamstring curl the right heel towards the right butt. Like um, to find that hammy engagement. Knees push down and out to the side. And the left ankle that's sitting right in front of the right thigh, hero it. So that soft hollowing action. Forearms push strong down into the mat, fill into the upper back. Final actions here. Elbows can energetically pull back towards the knees to feel like you're moving your ribs away from the hips. more full inhale and deep exhale fill into the back heart right here first and then lift up the elbows and then bring them back down fill back heart and then lift elbows when we fill into the back heart we find a lightness one more time fill back heart and lift elbows cool now plant the hands down push the hands strong down into the mat to fill into the upper back <coughs> Cool. A couple of, um, yeah, what should we do? Um, let's narrow the knees to lower the knees. Calm down onto forearms, please. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then re-lift the butt into the sky. So tuck the tailbone, or tuck the, not tuck, <laughs> that's wrong. Don't tuck the tailbone ever in my class. Uh, tuck your toes. Lift the butt up. Yeah. <clears throat> so fill super strong into the upper back. Forearms press nice and strong. Walk the feet wide. And walk the feet a little bit more net, more close towards your elbows. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's take right leg out to the side. Open the belly. Send the hips back. Keep your left paw rooted and knee pulling towards the left side of the mat. Yeah. And then lower down. 
Left leg out to the side. Cool. Hero the ankle. Yeah. Belly bows. Keep full in the upper back. Shoulders so strong. Like the push away. The force is within. And then lower down. Now take your <clears throat> knees. Narrow them and lower them. Lift up onto your hands. Let's have a headstand. So take your hands like so, where you make a little base with the pinky fingers and your hands just wrap around. Keep the elbows nice and narrow. So even a little bit more narrow than your shoulders will give you more stability. On your knees to start and then creep the crown of your head into the very center of your hand. So it's like, like this. <laughs> yeah. And then pick up your knees by tucking the toes. Walk the knee, walk the feet in. Take one knee into your chest. Move with your butt. Yeah. If you need a wall behind you, make like you can have a wall that's um, like your hands. The wall could be right here and pretty close to the wall. And then you don't feel afraid that you're going to fall over. Knees keep pulling down energetically to keep the butt lifting up. Belly bows forward. Forearms press nice and strong into the mat. Awesome. And then lower down. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Hands plant down. Tuck the toes. Lift up, crouching cat. Twist your cat to the right, toes to the right, knees to the right, hips sit low towards the heels. Couple of last bends and extends of this side variation of le cat. Awesome. And then twist your cat to the left, toes to the left, knees to the left, hips sit low, lift the ribs up high. <laughs> and then drop your right hip down reach your right arm long lie onto your side side bow mindful transitions head drops off of the bicep arms reach up to the sky roll onto your back and shimmy back onto your mat cup your knees freedom pose little rocks from side to side allowing the knees to just pull heavy away from um, away from you so that it's like this rooting of your femurs into the hip sockets. The belly is long and the head presses back into the mat to lift the chin. And then find um, a little stillness here and take your right knee, hug it in a little close to you, but catch the um, back of your thigh. Mm -hmm. Allow your thigh to get super heavy into your hands. Yeah. And then from that place, find a lengthening a straightening-ish, but I like a micro bend all over the place. Hero the right ankle, little fiesta foot, that external rotation of the foot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got this True North shirt just specifically for Nicaragua. Because I'm like, oh, I got to, like, represent the true north. I don't know if we're really that true of a north, but we kind of are. And then release your thigh and cross your ankle over top of your left thigh. Little hippie stretch. Pull your knee in a little closer. And cat, I like to catch on the shin or the knee. Or if you have space, catch behind your thigh. Keep the lower lumbar lifting up um, as your priority rather than the depth of the stretch. And then release your knee and land your left foot down on the mat, press the foot into the mat, pick your bum up and inch it over to the right just a little bit. Yeah, drop it back down and then allow that right foot to fall to the left. 
You can take your left hand to catch your right ankle if that feels accessible to you. And your, what is your right hand can find chin up bar if that feels okay to you. Otherwise, two chin up bars or hands out into cactus, whatever serves you. And chin stays lifted and the belly stays bowing long and strong. Engage the core, lift up to center, uncross the leg, press your feet into the mat, pick your bum up, neutralize your spine, and then let's take it to the other side, left knee pulls in, interlace your hands behind your thigh, allow your thigh to get really heavy into your hands, and then from that place, extend the leg up towards the sky. Here, the belly stays long and lifted, the lower lumbar maintains its natural curvature. Hero the ankle and maybe a little fiesta of foot, that little external rotation. <clears throat> so this one is less about getting the knee towards your nose and more of like this idea of rooting the femur into the hip socket. Um, anytime I do this one, I pretty much always get like this like jackhammer thing happening with my leg. It's like, ah, shake. I don't know why. And then release your thigh and cross your ankle over top of um, your right thigh. A uh, little hippie stretch, so keeping the left knee narrow towards your left shoulder. Come back, come back up, come back up. <laughs> come back up! <laughs> yeah, cross that guy, and then pull it in. Yeah. You know. Belly stays long and the hips stay rooting. stretch <clears throat> sometimes if I hold just like the shin and you let the shin get really heavy like allow your um, arms to pull straight like they're pulling away do you like that feeling do you don't care about it I feel it in like my butt and in my um, outer outer thigh of this leg. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, you can yeah, interesting. I don't know. I play with weird weird things all the time. <laughs> mhm. Mm interesting, right? Yeah. And then release your um, catch, wherever you caught, and <clears throat> take your foot, that right foot, down to the mat. Pick your bum up, inch it over to the left just a little bit for a twist to the right. Foot plants down. Left hand can find that chin-up bar. Right hand can catch your ankle if it's available. Other options are both hands can find cactus or both hands chin-up bar or, you know, give yourself a hug or whatever, you, whatever feels good. Mm hmm Yeah, that's where I feel it when I do it. It's like in that side butt. <laughs> the constant exploration of movement practices. As you're ready, engage your core, 
And lift back up the center. Uncross your legs. Press the feet into the mat. Lift the bum. Neutralize the spine. Little freedom pose. Box from side to side. Yeah. And then as you're ready, take a rest, a moment of assimilation. Your feet can go long, legs can go long. Have a lie. And digest all the work that your body just moved into. Some things to make it more comfortable is exactly that little hug wrap spreading the shoulders and lying a little more lovely and grabbing your butt feels nice too and that kind of stuff. Grab your butt, lift it up. And then stay as long as you like here. Um, that's a wrap. Happy, happy family day. And namaste. <laughs> wow. Awesome job.